What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Caught in the Mix, the YouTube show where I give you my honest personal opinion on new and upcoming tracks, singles, albums, as well as looking down memory lane, looking at some older pieces of work, and ranking them on a scale encompassing the mixing, the mastery, the lyrics, as well as the beats themselves. You guys have been killing it with suggestions lately, just giving me all this music I need to react to. I think I have about 35 tracks that I have to get to, thanks to you guys. So, we will be getting to them uh, every single one. I know there's a lot of Bowie, I know there's a lot of Kendrick, I know there's a lot of, um, what do we got here, Led Zeppelin, like... There's a bunch we got to get through, but today we will be focusing on some more Bowie. I am excited to get uh, into more of Bowie's discography. Again, an artist that I am not too familiar with, but as these videos keep going, the more familiar I get and the more uh, we delve into his catalog. Today we'll be reacting to a track off of the Ziggy Stardust, which is the the song that we previously already uh, reacted to, and this one is going to be Rock and Roll Suicide. And I'm excited for this one because this one had uh, six upvotes on one of the videos, uh, it seemed to be very popular with you guys. It was seen to be one that you guys really want to see and I had it requested on multiple videos must be good uh, I trust your guys judgment. You have been killing it with the trivia. You've been killing it with uh, Just your your rock knowledge and, and and your deep cuts So I really appreciate everything you guys add to these videos. I really want to make a platform where uh, music fans can really converse and, and talk about uh, the, the aspects of the music and I think without further ado guys We're just gonna get into this rock and roll suicide off David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. Let's go Another laid-back instrumental. Kind of sounding like Starman. Time takes mm -hmm. a cigarette, puts it in your mouth. You pull on your finger, then another finger, then a cigarette. The water wall is calling. It lingers, then you forget. Oh, 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 you're a rock and roll suicide. Get mm. too old to lose it, too young to choose it. And the clock waits so patiently on your song. You walk past the cafe. But you don't need when Always you're tugging on those heartstrings. Oh no, no, no. You're a rock and roll suicide. And we go. Snarling as you stumble across the road. But the day breaks instead, so you hurry home. Don't let the sun blast your shadow. Don't let the milk float rob your mind. They're so natural, religiously unkind. As a rock star should be. Oh no, love, you're not alone. You're watching yourself, but you're too unfair. You've got to head all tangled up. But I'm not gonna let my kids hear. Oh no, love, you're not alone. No matter what I'm Oh my god, the passion behind his voice. Just turn on with me and you're not alone. Let's turn on and be not alone. Give me your hands. Could you walk the floor? Give me your Jesus. <laughs> um, I guess what I have to say about that track is uh, I didn't realize it was so short, but I, I I wish it was longer to be honest. I really enjoyed that instrumental. It, it's it's kind of what I look for in a Bowie track. It's kind of like that that lower key, that Starman vibe, that uh the astronomical, you know what I mean? Like up in space kind of you you have those 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 space samples it almost sounds like. And him talking here, it seems like the subject matter is talking about perhaps a rock and roll suicide, meaning uh how the life of a, a rock star is honestly 
uh, quite destructive for a lot of a lot of young people getting into the game, getting into the scene, especially back in the 70s. Becoming a rock star was pretty much a, a, a death sentence as far as um, what you have to give in. You have to give your whole life to the craft. You have to, uh, you know, you're going into a life of substances. You're going into a life of partying. You're going into a life of of on the on the road tours. You're going into a life of exhaustion, of hard work, of of just dedicating your whole life to the craft. So I, I don't really have much to say about the song. I I I loved it. Um, and I love it for the same reasons. I love Starman. I love it for the same reasons that I I love um space oddity it's it's just that lucid beat that that floating instrumental and bowie's haunting uh words and his vocals on this track were just so striking and he really he really gave everything behind it and even even when he thought it couldn't go any higher he still belted out that last little bit a tiny bit higher so for me personally that everything considered i'm feeling a strong nine for this track i i i really loved it um and seeing that there are more hidden gems like this in bowie's discography i'm getting more and more excited guys but that's just my opinion on the track if you guys have a different opinion or if you have any trivia about the track and you want to leave it down below for other viewers don't be afraid to do so remember to like comment and subscribe it really helps me uh helps me know if you guys are liking these videos and uh Add some suggestions down below. Add some uh, Bowie tracks that are like maybe a similar theme or maybe maybe not a similar theme. Something you just, your favorite Bowie track you want me to check out and I will check it out. So um, I really appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.